Oh, the storm's here, it's crazy. Can't see anything. Again, another day. All right, you guys, rainy Saturday. Time to make lunch for the family. We're gonna try out making some crispy Dorito chicken fingers, but instead of the pan fry, we're gonna see if this guy can make them crispy. Start with chicken breasts right here, and what you wanna do is you wanna find the grains, how they run through the chicken breasts, and then what you wanna do is cut against those grains to get the most tender possible chicken strip. I like about quarter inch slices, Gives a good nice thickness so it can be like crunchy and crispy, but still nice and tender meat. And then because we still had more Doritos that were crushed, we're doing the Doritos uh, breading. Spicy nacho this time. And then we got a little goldfish for uh, summer too, because they're not spicy. Crack an egg for your egg wash. Give it a little pepper there. Beat that up. And then it's the old flour, egg wash, breading or chip coating. That's it. Get it on your rack ready for the confection oven microwave and repeat over and over. And a non spicy one. So, we're gonna put it in this bad boy here. I got a drip tray just in case. And I still don't know how to use this at all. So, just kind of like going with it. I don't know what temperature it should be at. And let's just go whatever. And we'll just set it for an amount of time. I don't know. 25 minutes sounds like it'll be safe. <laughs> And then if you're having chicken strips, you gotta have some sauces. So I'm gonna make a little chipotle lime aioli. Start off with a clove of garlic. Grate that in there. Add about three tablespoons of mayo to that. And I'm starting off with one tablespoon of chipotle sauce. And then half a lime. Get the seeds out. Whip that up. And then give it a taste see if it needs anything else. It could have used another hit of chipotle. And that's the thing with making sauces, right? You just add a little bit at a time and it needed a little bit more chipotle, so I put it in there. So you just do it to your taste, your preference of taste. If you can handle a lot spicier, go a lot spicier. You know, if you want it a lot limier, do a full lime. And then chicken strips, so that's, they're not chicken strips unless we have honey mustard. So start off with one part honey to one part mustard. Whip that up, give it a taste. Need a little bit more zest, so I gave it a little bit more mustard. Okay, all those chicken strips weren't gonna fit into the microwave convection oven, so I gotta deep fry some. Do all Asian people test fry their oil with some chopsticks? Drop your strips in. You don't wanna overcrowd it because you're gonna lose the temperature of the oil and then they'll just fry at the wrong temperature and be soggy. Five to six minutes, they'll be golden crispy. Take them out, drop them on a little uh, paper lined bowl. Let it soak up the extra grease. That'll help with the crispiness too. Hit it with a little extra salt, fresh out the fryer. You, that's what you always wanna do. Give it a little toss. And then uh, drop in some fries. Chicken strip and fries, you know, great combo. Same thing with the fries, don't overcrowd them too much. And then if you have ninja chopstick skills like me, you can take your fries right out the hot oil with them. If not, then use a spider or a, one of those strainers. And it's time to check our convection oven chicken strips. Whoa. Look at those. Those look pretty great and they feel good. They feel crispy. I think these look like they turned out pretty good. I'm gonna try it out. Feels crispy. Honey mustard. Oh wow! Mmm! Microwave convection oven does it again! Crispy outside, juicy tender strip inside. Wow. Oh. Original. Those are goldfish and those oh. are Doritos. These are for nugget then. That's for nugget too. I give her a piece of that. Yes. Traditional deep fried. I don't know if you're gonna beat that. <laughs> no. Wow. Ooh. 
Chipotle aioli, really good too. Good strips. Mmm. Convection? Yeah. So crispy. Right? I love that oven, man. Pretty cool. It's awesome. Yeah. Mm. Honey mustard just for you. Honey mustard, my fave. I love mustard and I love honey and together, magic. I gotta go in for a close up sound bite. Listen to this crispiness here. Wow. Also, it's really about the sauces. Always. So easy, right? A little fresh grated garlic, mayo, chipotle if you have it, a little lime, pepper, that's it. Mm. To be quite honest, these ones are just as good as these ones, and they're healthier. And I would have done it all if we could have fit them all, but then I was like, oh, what am I gonna do? So I had to deep fry them. And then I had the oil out, so I was like, let's deep fry some fries too. <laughs> but these are phenomenal. Wow, super impressed. Healthy. The good stuff. Oh yeah, give me that sugar tomato sauce. Still a poopy day. Oh, thunder. You love your chicken too? You got a mouthful of chicken? <laughs> she already ate lunch too. Yeah. Second meal. Oh, jam it in there. Second lunch, baby. We had to switch up the living room a little bit because with the couch being there, someone was starting to climb it a lot. So this works out better. But you know what? Now the macrame is all off. Ugh. Shut up. <laughs> Basically a full lounge Saturday in the rain. Such a big girl sitting on the couch by herself now. Caitlin caught me zoned out. But yeah, she's just sitting on the edge watching her movie. First time watching Frozen. Summer, can you go sit down on the carpet, please? Can you back up, sit on the carpet, please? Too close to the TV? Can you sit on the carpet? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, hey guys, rainy Saturday. Didn't want to leave the house. I'm still not feeling well. We got delivery. Woo! Some sort of uh, fried tofu thingies. This, it said uh, chayote leaves with uh, garlic. Clay pot rice. One of them is pork. And one of them is beef. Looks tasty. Wow. And then lots of little kimchi. Why do we have so much? Because I ordered two because I didn't realize that everything comes with it. Uh, right. Uh, and look at that. A little soup in a cup. I have no idea what this is that I ordered. <laughs> Let's break it. Looks like a little fried tofu. Yeah, totally. Fried tofu. Oh! <laughs> oh! Caitlin said, don't try that, and I didn't listen to her. Always listen to your wife. Woo! Some of the greens right here. I just felt like we needed some greens. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Can't go wrong with greens like that. Morning Glory, or like, this one is chayote leaves, and there's other stuff, you know, like, to saute with a little garlic. Boom. Wow. Clay pot, a little crispy bottom there. Wow, look at that crispiness. Mmm, yeah. All right, and I got mine with a pepper beef one. Mmm, mm-hmm. Super tender beef, really peppery. Yeah. That's awesome, the rice is amazing. I love that crispy bottom clay pot, yeah. That is really good quality beef. Yeah. I'm really happy with that. How's your pork, baby? Really good. I'm gonna try this. I would give an on-screen um, review, but I'm in my night. <laughs> <laughs> that's how she's lounging. It's Saturday. Mmm. Wow, that's good beef. Peppery. Mmm. -hmm. Pepper beef. All right. A little pork action. Ooh, nice. A little like uh, teriyaki, but with a little spicy kick to it. Nice. And we have the first breach. She was just pushed it. It was like, roar. Can you roar? Roar. <laughs> Good one. Sumsum, can you say, Sumsum, can you say, Sum Nah, she just wants to mess with the gate. Try some of their homemade kimchi here. We have like five bags. Hmm. <laughs> 
spicy, not too spicy, nice pickling, crunchy. I don't like it when the kimchi is like, bleh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know what I mean. I think that's it for the gate. She has realized that it cannot contain her. Try the soup out. The packaging. Oh, that's terrible. It tastes like it's water. It tastes like bath water. Ew. Well, not bath water. It just tastes like really bad water. Hey, overall, really good. Except for the soup that tasted like it was stretched out to make extra soup. It was really watery and terrible. And uh, the unknown tofu thing that I just clicked and ordered because I was like, hey, let's try it. Those things, uh, they tasted really like mushy, like mushy, mushy tofu. And the outside was like a powdery sweetness to it that was like, uh, really not tasty. Um, but the rice bowls, I would order there again. 200K for all that. Really good. Sam. What's he doing? Good night. Can I get a good night kiss, please? Give daddy a good night kiss. Good night. I love you. Mm -hmm. Aww, Aww, thank you. One more. Okay. Okay. Guys, that was my day today. Thank you for joining me. Two quick things though. I forgot to mention when we checked out the gym and pool thing that it's not included in our apartment and I like forgot to say it so people thought it was and that would have been totally amazing if it wasn't, but it wasn't. Uh, it costs 1.6 million per month if you want to drop in for um, or a membership for that month or like 60 mil for the month or something like that. And Big Jonas, he's good. He's working again. His foot was in the cast, but he's all good and everything. So that's it, guys. Uh, I'm still, still fighting this cold. I want to play basketball tomorrow, but I don't think Caitlin's going to let me. She says I need to rest. I will see. It's been 40 hours only.